Hey, so what are we gonna do now? The prisoners are coming to get us, right? It's none of your business, so stay out of it. Just lie down and sleep here. Forever. This is totally my business. This is my dream. So, what's the plan? There's only one thing to do. We must defeat that pseudo-warden and stand up for the real warden who fought with us and died honorably. He didn't even stop to think that the warden might actually be alive and is planning to get revenge on us. His undemon-like, undoubting heart is also one of Lord Valvatoris' formidable powers. In any case, whether he's real or fake, he certainly has the support of some hidden force behind him. Indeed. Only the President would be able to grant such a prize as pardons to prisoners of Hades. I concur. Could the power behind him possibly be... Who is it? Tell me! We must plan accordingly. Episode 3! There they are! Let's kill them and get out of here! I can't believe I can win my freedom just by killing those weak-looking fools! Uh, let's kill those biatches! Kill, kill, and kill! Damn, do you hear how they keep saying kill? It's very prisoner of Hades-like. That's precisely what they are. If you keep acting like you're in a dream, you're going to get yourself killed. Not that I care. <laughs> I'm putting an end to your depraved and insolent ways. I'll get rid of you and finally clear myself of everything you blamed on me. I believe you show your face to us. You fake wannabe warden Axel! <laughs> you idiot! Do you really think there could be two people who look as stunning as I do in the universe? What? You're real? Why are you fighting us? Have you forgotten the days we used to scramble around the battlefield together? We're comrades! Who wants your back? You're not my comrade! You can't just sugarcoat your memories of me like that! Fate! has made us enemies. There's only one person I can consider to be my comp. The son of the president. His name is Sir Death Emizo. <laughs> I'll finish you off this time, you impudent pretty instructor. What's everyone's problem? Why do you all look so damn disappointed? Hmm. I guess I didn't hide it well enough. Then I apologize, I'm sorry. Sorry about that. I guess I was expecting a crazier twist. Uh, your apologies are pissing me off even more! Anyway, you two are surely exceeding your authoritative powers by promising to give these prisoners pardons. I find it very hard to believe that failures like you were entrusted with such power by the Corruptament. What do you say about that? Huh? Well? Failures? That's not how they acted in front of us! But... They don't look like they can actually grant us pardons! Did they... <laughs> lie to us? No, no way! You will be granted pardons! It's an official promise by Sir Amizel, the President's son! Don't listen to them! Hey, Warden, are you sure we should really promise them that without my pop's consent? Everything will work out fine, as long as we defeat those fools. I'm sure your father will approve the pardons to reward them for stopping the anarchists. Your rep will be restored, and you'll probably even get a promotion. Yeah, you're right. Okay, let's do it. As our president's only son, I promise that you will be pardoned. 
Now go put down those anarchists! I guess that wasn't enough to dissuade them. Those two seem rather determined to do this. <laughs> she won't be able to open that smart-ass mouth of yours for much longer. Although their powers are restricted here, these prisoners are the most brutal criminals in the netherworld. You guys are history! Fighting against a former comrade. What irony! However, you leave me no choice. I will simply have to give you a sound and decisive beating! That didn't take much persuading. Besides, you were the only one who was rambling about being comrades and whatnot. And thus, Hades' most epic battle was underway. This battle developed into a significant event that eventually altered the very future and destiny of the Netherworld. Oh crap! They beat up all the prisoners! Well, young master, sir, I'm gonna go prepare for the next battle now. See ya! Hey! Warden Axel! Asko! You're free to use whatever tactics you so please, as long as you always keep your promise. If the prisoners are able to successfully defeat us, you better keep your promise and grant them pardons. You got that? What the hell are you talking about? Why do you care about a promise that can only be kept if you die? Are you okay? That's my lord's strength and weakness. You have no right to judge him. You got that, Rascal? Keep that promise you made, or you will learn the true weight of a promise through severe pain. Severe pain? What are you gonna do to me? I will do nothing. However, you will feel it in your heart. What the hell do you mean by that? You're like, totally whack! Hey, why are you so obsessed with keeping promises? Did something happen in your past or something? Intruding on someone's personal issues? As expected of a human. After all, you are creatures of egotism. Oh, come on. I'm just curious. Mind your own business. Ugh, what's your problem? Let's go. Our priority now is to restore order to this place. That is my duty as a Prinny instructor. Uh, no, I believe that is beyond your scope of responsibilities as a Prinny instructor. But I approve of this plan, since it would bring positive results. All is for my lord. I've almost reached the target amount. This is all for the Lady Archangel who supports me, even if it is against the will of Celestia. And to stop him. There they are! The Brinny Instructor and his allies! Let's kill them and gain our freedom at last! You guys want freedom that badly? Well, what are you gonna do once you're free? Get revenge, of course, against the corruptment for putting us in Hades. <laughs> if you commit a crime, you go to Hades. You want to get revenge for your own mistake? Your desire is born of nothing but ignorance. No! We did the right thing! But the corruptment. Ooh, what was that? What happened? We didn't do anything wrong. We were only planting fears in the minds of humans. We made them fear the darkness, midnight, and gave them nightmares. That's all we did! Um, but those are bad things. No. Planting fear in humans is an exemplary action for all demons. By doing so, humans learn respect, begin to live conservatively, and keep their world in order. It's an essential part of keeping a healthy relationship between demons and humans. It's the secret to keeping the universe in order. Huh? I didn't know demons played such a role. That's cool. 
but putting hard-working demons in Hades? What is the Corrupterman's true endgame? Endgame? Never mind that. The true travesty is that these guys are being imprisoned under false charges. So? Are we gonna fight them even though they're innocent? Well, that's a different story. They are demons, after all. We always prove our points through violence. Pardon me, Mr. President. Has the rebellion in Hades been put down? No, actually. What now? Speak up. Yes, sir. We have received a letter from the Rebel Force. <sighs> As you can see, it's written with words that I couldn't possibly say out loud. I'd like to obtain your official sanction to... Eliminate them. They must all be wiped from existence. Uh, are you certain of this? Are you going to make me repeat myself? Uh, understood. Your words shall be carried out to the rest of the Netherworld. <sighs> oh, sighing so deeply. You're more depressed than usual. Oh, it's you. Hey, you don't have to look so upset. We're supposed to support each other, right? What are you doing here today? Remember our conversation? I came to get that thing, as promised. It is ready to go. It's all yours. <laughs> Thanks. If you insist. Ha <laughs> There you are! These guys are 1.5 times more brutal than those earlier ones. Get ready now, guys. You're only one step away from receiving your pardons. Do as you wish. However, those are innocent prisoners who were put in Hades by the Corruptiment, right? How is it fair to use them by bribing them with pardons? How can you live with yourself? Th th they're not innocent. They were convicted by the Corruptiment. They're nothing but criminals! What did you say? We're innocent! We were just being demons. The Corruptiment just came up with some bullshit excuse and imprisoned us. Then consider what you're doing. You're dealing with the Corruptiment, who turned you into criminals in the first place. Don't you think it's foolish to trust them to keep their promise? <laughs> That's... What do you say? Shall we join forces? Join forces? Realizing the current state of our rotten corruptiment, my lord here has stepped up to take over the regime. Take over the regime? He's planning to defeat my father and take over the corruptiment? You are? I am? Why do you sound so surprised? Didn't you know all about this? Of course he wasn't aware of this. I decided this for him, at my own discretion. My lord proclaimed that he would beat the president and the corruptiment into shape, so I came up with my own plan of action. What my lord must do, I must also do. What I must do, my lord must also do. In other words, we are as one. That being said, there's no problem with me making any of his decisions for him. Indeed, as expected of you, Fenric. It's quite considerate of you to come up with such an ambitious agenda for us. <laughs> All is for my lord. So, what kind of relationship do you two have again? It's starting to seem pretty creepy. So, what do you say, prisoners? When we usurp this regime, you shall all be granted ranks and positions suitable to your service. Huh. Are you usurping the regime? Who'd believe in such dreamy nonsense? become the president of the netherworld! Enough of this! My father would never be defeated by you peons! He's 
right. How could a lowly printy instructor possibly defeat the president? Do you think you'll ever get what you want by giving up so easily? You see, this is why you're all nothing but side characters. So what? Why don't you show us what you got there? Yeah, that's right. We'll decide whether we want to join you after that. As you wish. I'll show you what I've got. The power of sardines! Uh, aside from that, please just prove to them that you have enough power to usurp the regime. Even though our powers are being restrained, we're still former overlords! How could a mere pretty instructor possess so much power?! Don't be so surprised. Who do you think the man who stands before you is? Being a pretty instructor was just a disguise. He is Lord Valvatores, formerly known as the Tyrant who enthralled all humanity within the depths of fear! Tyrant Velva Torres, the bloodthirsty king of fear! Y you mean the blood soaked Velva Torres of absolute evil? The, the king of carnage and atrocity? Hm. I'd almost forgotten about all those old aliases. Those are cute. Huh? I didn't know you were so famous around here. Hey, wait a second! Don't try to steal the spotlight in my dream! Tyrant Valvatoris? I thought he was just a printing instructor. I can't believe it! I never would have imagined my childhood hero had become a printing instructor! I heard he went missing after he lost all his power. I didn't know he was still around. Usurping the regime. He might actually be able to pull it off. What? There's still no proof that he's the real Valvatoris. I mean, sure, he showed us his power, but... <laughs> this is bad. Nobody told me he was such a big fish. He didn't put that on his resume when he was applying for the pretty instructor position. He's a fraud. What are you gonna do, Ward Maxel? Should you go along with him, or should you keep sucking up to the corruptorment? Hey, we can hear you. Warden Axel, are you gonna betray me? Uh, <laughs> uh, please, young master, you're just hearing things. We made a vow to each other as comrades. Why would I ever betray you? To prove it, I've got one last ace up my sleeve in case of an emergency. Right this way, young master. Wait! I hope he's not thinking about releasing the seal of the Forbidden Chamber! The Forbidden Chamber? He better not! If he releases that monster, this place, no! The entire Netherworld will be destroyed! Well, they scattered like birds. I've heard about the occupant of the Forbidden Chamber, but how bad can it be? It must be pretty bad if all those brutal criminals are scared of it. <laughs> I'm kind of excited. <laughs> no monster or beast can stop me. Since I seem to have a new goal, total regime usurpation! Warden Axel, to fulfill my lord's ambition of usurping the regime, we must first take over Hades which shall be used as our foothold for further invasions, from our proletariat seat of power to the very executive office of the President. Cease this futile battle now. Upon your surrender, we may or may not grant you a valid position as well. Really? You will? What kind of position? Comic relief? <laughs> That's perfect. Damn it! You know what? Screw you guys! I want to see you try to talk like that after you see what's behind this barrier! 
Are you sure about this, Warden? What's gonna happen now? Everything will be fine, young master. We'll quell these anarchists together and earn our reputations back. Then I'll get promoted to a higher position than Hades Warden, and eventually... tell you something. I am not a hero. the most powerful demon in Hades. No, you're wrong. Desko is the most powerful because Desko is the final boss. No, I'm the most powerful. I'm the all-powerful warden. That's the monster that all of the prisoners were so scared of? I don't understand. Seriously, I think I've seen her before. I can't remember where. The final boss is supposed to fight a hero. I'm not gonna waste my time on some peons. Oh, stop complaining. Just follow orders and get rid of them, like any final boss would do. Okay then. Desko will kill you all, just like a final boss would do. He died again. No! Warden Axel! Ah, uh, now I remember. She's the monster who attacked me! What? Are you saying she's the one who killed you and sent you to Hades? I'm not dead! I bet this nightmare was caused by her knocking me unconscious. Oh, it's her! Desko must impress her. Are you ready? <laughs> Fear me, you fools! And realize that only heroes can defeat a final boss! Now, who wants to die next? Is it you? Ah, what? Don't look at me! Stop! I'm the son of the president! 
<laughs> Disappear! Help! Someone help me! <laughs> am, am I still alive? You, Desco! If you want to call yourself a final boss, then keep this in mind. A strong defense is fundamental. You must first receive your opponent's attacks in a dignified manner. Really? But Desco had no idea. It is absolutely unacceptable for you to deal lethal damage on your first turn. It completely ruins the balance of the game. I cannot approve of someone like you being the final boss. In fact, no one would approve of such a lousy game if it had that! As expected of my lord, that must be the most biased opinion I've ever heard. But a final boss must annihilate every single living creature. That's what it said in the textbook that Desco's daddy gave her. That's such a lie! I've never heard of any textbooks like that before! It's not a lie! Desco is a final boss! I'll kill you all! Valvatoris! He is for real! How in Hades did he regain his power? Which legend says he lost? Sardines, of course! Sardines? Absolutely. You guys should indulge in them as well. They will make you stronger. Wasn't even a hero. So, so, does that mean that Desco isn't a final boss after all? Is she going to be abandoned again? <laughs> what? Did you say abandoned? The human world? You mentioned something earlier about being the final weapon. Were you, by any chance, created by a human? Yes. Desco's daddy is a human. Created by a human? I mean, th th that's absolutely absurd! Humans have created not just a normal demon, but a final boss, the highest of all demon ranks? What could they possibly be plotting? Why don't they just keep focusing on sardine research? And what is the corrupterman doing, allowing the humans to pursue such madness? What is the president thinking? Judging by this blockhead here, I assume the corrupterman isn't thinking at all. the only one left to do this after all? Must I teach a lesson to the unruly humans as well as the rotten corruptment? Yes, my lord. And I believe that usurping the regime is the key to doing both. Huh. Indeed! Then I accept this duty placed before me. Trinies, demons, or humans, I will turn their worlds into Hades to teach them all a good lesson. I hereby declare right here Right now, to overthrow the current corruptment and to hadify all worlds by forming the Hades Party! Bravo! Your wish is my command. However, that name sounds a bit too straightforward. We should discuss this later. 
Come with me, Desko. Huh? But, but Desko isn't really a final boss. Indeed, you are not. You're still too inadequate to be a final boss. But I will train you so that one day, you will make a magnificent final boss. But Desko was defeated. How can a defeated final boss ever become a magnificent final boss? Do not be ashamed of your loss. There are tons of final bosses out there who have climbed their way back after a defeat. Besides, only those who have experienced failure and downfall can become stronger. Really? So, so, should Desko let go of her shame that came with her defeat? Yes. So long as you get right back up after a defeat, you'll be fine. Will Desko be able to fight a final battle against a hero someday? I have no doubt about that. When you become a magnificent final boss and spread your evilness, a hero will surely confront you. Will Desko be able to pull off three transformations and bribe the hero by offering them half of the world? Of course, if you can keep up with my training. I promise to push you until you obtain the power of a worthy final boss. So, Desko, Come with me! Okay! Desko promises to follow you until she is ready to become a magnificent final boss! Oh, my lord. There goes another one of your promises. No way! She attacked me! How can I be on the same team as some... Desko is going to become a magnificent final boss. I hope I will have your blessings, Big Sis. B big Sis? Yes, Desko's Big Sis. Oh, she's your younger sister. You two better get along then. Absolutely not. Do you see any family resemblance between us two? She said she was created by humans. But you were created by humans as well, correct? Yeah, but I'm the product of the love between my mom and dad. And how dare you make me say that? Uh, guys! They even scouted the final boss into being their teammate! I'm starting to think this regime usurpation thing could actually happen! Let's go, everyone! We're going to turn the worlds into Hades! The battle, which ended with Valva Torres's victory, soon triggers the birth of a new political force that will threaten the entire netherworld. In the future, people will look back at this battle as the rise of the tyrant. But at this point, this is only the beginning of when the world started heading towards corruption. forgot about him. Hey, you're coming with us, too. Huh? Where to? Never mind, that doesn't matter. Why do I gotta tag along with you guys? Why? Don't you know what's going on right now? You should read the newspaper. father must be very upset to hear about this news. You should come along to relieve his heart as soon as possible. <laughs> we caught wind of some shocking news after we quelled the brutal criminals of Hades. I can't believe they announced that I died! Sardines are not Clupini. <laughs> 
They are Plupiformis Plupiodi, to be specific. Who cares? Although Japanese sardines and round herrings are Clupidi, and Japanese anchovies belong to the Angrolidae gang. The hell? Next time, episode four, Hades Heisera Army. If you don't trust sardines, make sure you eat their guts too. Desco will be showing off.